is 3.4 we will learn about measure of positional average till exercise 3.3 we learn about mean where mean studied an appropriate average but if given data are evenly distributed with not too large or too small value in such situation it is said that mean is not become a good representative another average is more suitable in such situation which is called as median median quartile decile percentile are called a positional average because their value are found by using the value of observation at a specific position among the value of variable in the ordered data this is median median is a middle most observation when the data are arranged in the ascending or descending order it is denoted by m here i shown a one example that is this is the line has been drawn to show 0 to 100% if the information is given to find out the 50% so here out of 100% the middle most information is median in the further question many time the question will not disclose that what has to be found may they give you a some percentage which has to be find out so for that particular reason here i shown you ki agar median batane ke liye aapko bataya jaye to out of 100% the center one that is the 50% will be your median now have to find out the median the calculation of median which will be divided into the ungrouped data and grouped data ungrouped data that is raw data and grouped data that is discrete frequency distribution and continuous frequency distribution hope you remember that we already learned in our last chapter to show you which kind of data it look like it is just an assumable data just for the example i want to show you as if the question is giving ungrouped data which will be known as a raw data the raw data will look something like this where the only the numbers will be given next in grouped data which will be look like a discrete which will be a discrete data or continuous data and discrete data will look something like this where the observation will be given uh, in a one single number and the frequency related to it it is just an assumable numbers just to make a clear out with the what exactly information will come in your question in continuous data hope you remember the exclusive and inclusive class exclusive class wo hota hai jiska number the upper boundary limit will be repeated and the next class as a lower boundary limit jaise ki ye 0 to 10 hai 10 wala number wapas repeat hua 10 to 20 the 20 number has been repeated in the next class so this is how the information will be given which will be denoted as a exclusive continuous data and the number which is look like 10 to 19 the next class is started from 20 you can see the 19 number is not repeated in the next class means ye wali information hai inclusive continuous data this is very important to understand which kind of data is given because on given question and the given data the formula will be used for the median decile percentile and the quartile so first you get clear that what kind of data it look like the raw data will look something like this and the group data which will be discrete and continuous discrete aisa dikhega aapko aur continuous mein depend karega ki aapko kaun sa class diya hai exclusive or inclusive so here i again start my explanation with median because the formula will change on the given information so for ungrouped data where the raw data will be given to find out the value at the center the observation first has to be arranged in the ascending or the descending order and when the information is given in raw data the formula to find out median will be value of the n plus 2 divided by 2 the observation divided by 2 when you are finding median and for ungrouped data in discrete frequency distribution 
a frequency distribution shows the observation arranged in ascending order so use a cumulative frequency distribution to find out the median jab aapko information discrete frequency distribution mein diya ho to sabse pehle from the given frequency you have to find out cumulative frequency how to find out will be shown in the continuation and the explanation of the exercise and you can see the formula of raw data and discrete are same it has to be go with the n plus 1 divide by 2 that now the next is the continuous frequency distribution now in continuous frequency distribution the value of variable is in the form of class jaisa ki maine aapko bataya ki class aapko exclusive ya inclusive bas पर आपको क्लास इंटरवल में इंफॉर्मेशन दिया जाएगा वैसी इंफॉर्मेशन को हम बोलेंगे कंटिन्यूस फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड दे आर अरेंज इन असेंडिंग ऑर्डर इन सच अ केस यूज अ क्यूमुलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी टू फाइंड आउट द मीडियम व्हेन द इंफॉर्मेशन इज गिवन इन कंटिन्यूस फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन द फॉर्मूला विल बी डिवाइडेड इनटू स्टेप 1 एंड स्टेप 2 इन द स्टेप 1 विल फाइंड आउट n अपॉन 2 द क्लास the observation and the step 2 to find out median will be l will denote as a lower limit plus n upon 2 the same which you have find out the information out of the first step will find out this lower limit the class uh, class length cumulative frequency and the frequency so the first step is quite important and here you can see when we are using continuous frequency distribution here we are directly taking n upon 2 n plus 1 yahan pe nahi karte एन प्लस वन रॉ डेटा और डिस्क्रीट फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन में ही लेते हैं इन कंटिन्यूस विल टेक डायरेक्टली एन अपॉन टू टू फाइंड आउट द क्लास एंड आफ्टर फाइंडिंग स्टेप वन वी कैन कंटिन्यू विद द स्टेप टू डिपेंड ऑन व्हाट आंसर यू गॉट इन स्टेप वन उसी के बेस पे हमारा आंसर होगा फॉर द लोअर लिमिट एन अपॉन टू विल बी कॉपी द सेम सी एफ दैट इज क्यूमुलेटिव फ्रिक्वेंसी विल रिमूव फ्रॉम द Uh, column of cumulative frequency the frequency from the same line and the class line this will be more clear when we'll go with the solution next other positional average that is median divide the data in two equal part as we see in the underlining ki 50 50 percent pe median divide karta hai but sometimes the value divide in more parts where we are going to learn about the quartiles when the value of observation of the given data are arranged in the ascending order and three value which divide the data in four equal parts are called quartiles four equal parts that this is what i have shown here here out of 0 to 100 you can see the 25% from quartile 1 to quartile 2 the remaining 25% from quartile 2 to quartile 3 remaining 25% and from quartile 3 टिल द हंड्रेड परसेंट इट कम्स टू ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट मतलब कि ये चार इक्वल पार्ट पर डिवाइड हो जाता है दिस परसेंटेज टू लर्न दिस परसेंटेज इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एज आई टोल्ड यू कि क्वेश्चन में कितने बार आपको डायरेक्टली परसेंटेज देंगे आपको उसी इंफॉर्मेशन के बेस पे फाइंड आउट करना होगा सो दिस इज़ क्वाइट इंपॉर्टेंट टू लर्न दैट क्यू वन विल गिव यू आर ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट क्यू टू विच विल बी एट ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस ट्वेंटी 50 percent and which will be also equal to your median as you can see q2 is at the center of the 100 percent or 25 plus 25 50 percent hota hai or median bhi 50 percent hota hai next is q3 if the question is asking to find out a q3 means 25 plus 25 plus 25 means you are giving the 75 percent whatever information has been asked in the question so this is how the quartile will be divided in the form of percentage and to find out the formula again the same formula will be repeated what we have done in the median but the only changes will be that here they will introduce j and the number will divide with 4 as we are doing with the quartiles it will divide by 4 remember this whenever in the question what has been asked aap se kya pucha hai median ya quartile us par depend karega ki aapko kaun sa number niche rakhna hai agar median bole to 2 and quartile pucha hai to 4 j here j is denoting that what has been asked if it is q1 the j will be 1 if it is q2 your j will be 2 and if it is q3 again your j will be 3 this is how you have to solve the question related to the quartiles 
again same here you can see the raw data and discrete data the formula are same the only it will change when the information is given in continuous data even here you can see the j is given so again it depends on the question that what has been asked quartile 1 2 or 3 so that number will be kept on the position of j and it will divide by 4 as you can see the step 2 formula is very similar with your median it is totally same the only thing is this this is what will be changed on the base of the question another one i am going to explain you about decile the observation are arranged in the ascending order and the 9 value which will be divide the data in 10 equal parts are called as decile decile matlab 10 the information will be divided from 10 1 to uh, d 10 yahan pe aapko information dikhegi it's depend on the question that what has been asked in you, in your question wo aap se kya puch rahe hain decile 1 2 3 whatever the numbers will be asked and here the one more thing here i have shown that d5 yani ki ye wala center wala number d5 which will be equal to your median and which will be equal to your q2 which will give you exactly the 50 percent the ye jo upar wale numbers hai wo sare percentage rakhe hai again we'll check with the formula of decile you can see the raw data and discrete data are going to be solved in the same formula and but if the question is asking about decile remember yahan pe number aapko likhna hai 10 and the j that what question has been asked aap se kaun sa decile pucha hai 2 3 4 5 whatever number which will be display on the question that number have to be show on the j so that's for the raw data and discrete here again you can see in the continuous the only changes we can see that is j and 10 in median we saw it was 2 in quartile it was 4 and in decile it was 10 j aapko introduce median mein nahi karna hai sirf decile uh, quartile and percentile ye teen mein hi aapko j introduce karna hai that what exam what exactly ask in your question even the same thing the pattern will be shown in the solution that have to find out this lower limit cumulative frequency frequency and class length ye sara find out karne wala information will be the same for the each and every positional average but the remaining thing will be changed that is the 10 and the j the next is showing about the percentile percentile means the percentage which will denote as a hundred here the observations are arranged in the ascending order and the 99th value which divide the data in hundred equal part are called percentile so here i just put the line and it can be a one two three till hundred for the shortcut i just kept 10 and 20 but it has been divided into the 99 parts yahan pe aapko koi bhi percentage put sakte hain uh, samjho 15 percentage or the 35 percentage so it's all depend on what in the question has been asked even here you can see the formula as we are finding percentile here it will change with 100 j depend karega ki aapko kaun sa question mein pucha hai samjho ki p35 percentile of 35 has been asked to j will be 35 and n plus 1 and if the question is asking percentile remember to keep 100 the observation and again here raw data and discrete data both are sharing the same formula but the formula will be changed if the question is asking about the continuous data be sure with this information that what exactly the data has been asked even here the j will be depend on that what percentile has been asked that number will come on the place of j and divide by 100 and this is what the most important point remember ki raw data or discrete mein hi n plus 1 karna hai continuous ke time pe aapko sirf n lena hai this is what exactly the maximum student make the mistake so be sure when you are taking the formula and this is will be continue the video will be continued with your exercise 3.4 and the, all the information are going to come directly with the solution hope you understand with the solution exercise 3.4 which will be start on your page number 98 first question find all quartiles for the data given below about marks scored by 15 student in class test 
These are the marks of the 15 students are given. First take the information in your book. As in the question asked for the all quartiles means Q1, Q2 and Q3. Here is the observation. First of all arrange the observation in ascending order. Now for the ascending this is the most minimum value that is 0. Next is 2. Next is 3. Just keep on arranging them. The next 4. Another 4. 5, 6, thrice, then 7, thrice, then we found here 8 and the last one is 9. After arranging, don't forget to count it one more time. If, if it possible, may you forgot any one of them. So let's count. It should be a 15 student. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So here I have made an arrangement of observation in ascending order and all have been included. After this, as in the question asked for the all quartiles, here I am keeping Q1. As you can see, this is the raw data information, an ungrouped data. For this, we have to use formula of value of n plus 1. When we are finding quartile, we will keep 4 down the observation. Now we will keep the value n that is 15 plus 1 divided by 4 the observation. Make a calculation. 16 divided by 4th. And the answer for this value of fourth observation, four ones are, four fours are. Now, fourth observation means one, two, three, and this is the one which is the answer for Q1, that is four marks. In the same way, we'll do for the Q2. n plus 1 divide by 4 but this time remember we are using 2 so here are j we'll keep the value of j even here there is a j but here we keep only 1 because here we are finding q1 so the value comes fourth observation only i'll show you how to give how to write down for this value of here j is 2 that is second quartile n will be remain 15 plus 1 divided by 4 the observation and here value of here it will be 16 divided by 4 that is 2 into 4th observation so here come value of 2 fours are 8th observation so here answer for q2 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and this is the 1. So for Q2 it would be 6 marks. In the same way we will continue with Q3. Now here the J will be 3 and plus 4 the observation. For J, we will keep 3 and 15 plus 1 divided by 4, the observation. Here the calculation of this, that is 15 plus 1, 16, 16 divided by 4 will be 4. So 3 fours are value of 12th observation. For this 12th observation, again go to the ascending observation which has been arranged. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This is the one for the marks. So Q3, 12th observation which we found 7 marks. This is how you have to give answer when the question asks you to find out all quartiles. Moving to the next question.